An ochre song called you from the corners of post-existence. You appeared, a silent apparition of language, and I became pregnant with the word. And the word took flight upon crimson oceans of light. Oceans of light screaming prayer into vermilion angles of wrangled space. Angled space sank like an obsidian siren into the mad mouth of my pocket, my pocket dangle a jangling death from the tongue of a stone victrola. A stone victrola coughed a murder of crows, shrieking translucent blue music, blue music circled the bells of my waiting and insistent speech. My speech oracled itself toward the sword of your memory. Your memory casted the shadows of my castrated breath, my breath crying the kiss of an ochre song called you from the corners of post-existence. You appeared a silent apparition of language and I, I, I became pregnant with the word. Till 6 a.m. with the word, and the word was no longer afraid or ashamed to throw her head back and her arms skyward. And in white flashes of teeth and sweat drips hair, found an incomprehensible mumbling to the rumblings of unstruck sound. The word sucked my tongue as I wrote this, spit hype this, this palm into my mouth. The word and I, oh, 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 oh. the word, and I love that night, love that night, love that night, and I. Word 
became a brown child's fingers wiping tears away from her father's eyes. The word became, the word became a brown child's kisses blooming in spite of a hurricane. The word began. The word became a brown child's spirit reaching out to embrace the brown thin wrinkled hands, a brown thin wrinkled arm. A brown, thin, wrinkled women stirring pots of 5 a.m. grits in a cornerstone called Mississippi. The word lives inside. Lives inside. The word lives inside. Lives inside of the universal thin spaces between in and exhalation. Traverses herself around the azure stone. Travels inside of the azure stone. Lives inside of the azure stone. Forgetting and refusing to remember that she is. Both of these guys, they're from the classical music world, and, uh, but they do more than just that. Um, they also play jazz, they also play funk, and uh, whatever else is required. Um, Grant, um, I'm not quite sure. I know Grant comes, he plays like some of everything too, jazz, rock, hip hop. Jazz, yeah. you know, and he also <laughs> plays hand percussion from, from several different traditions, and Eric uh, is very versed in the classical tradition of, of, of Middle Eastern percussion. And um, as far as myself, you know, I've studied poetry, but mostly what I do is organic. Um, um, I write most of the stuff that we do, uh, or much of the stuff that we do. And um, recently completed an MFA, so didn't have a lot to do with the writing that I do now, but, you know, um, I felt it was time to complete it. After years of being an organic intellectual, I decided to pursue more academic. Things. She goes to bread and circus, you know, organic. More organic. More yeah. organic. But didn't you He's win some award? fiber. <laughs> yeah, I, I was part <laughs> of the <laughs> National Poetry Slam, um, and I won uh, the, the individual title uh, for the championship for the National Poetry Slam, and um, that got me out there. I was also part of a movie called Love Jones, which was um, um, based on my life and some incidents that happened. And after that, uh, things just started happening in a way. I started doing more and more gigs, getting more and more lectures at colleges, and um, honing my skills, because I knew I had to go out there now and earn some bread, right? So I had to become a showman. These guys are really the musicians. You know, I, I basically keep time on a drum. Um, but music feeds the poetry. Poetry, um, there, there's always a rhythm. There's always a pulse going on inside and Poetry me. feeds the music. And poetry yeah, feeds, it's feeds the music. It's, yeah, it's, it's always a groove. It all, yeah. We always try to bring it together. I mean, you know, maybe these guys can talk more about what it actually means to play and try to, it's not, it's to interpret the words. It's not necessarily groove oriented, but we, we, like, we like grooves. We like grooves, yeah. but it's, it's not always that way. Like on the first half of the Zeitgeist piece, it's very ethereal. Uh, we we're, we like to be as, as multidimensional as, yeah. as we can. As eclectic you know? as possible. Yeah. In a full show, sometimes it's just a cappella, or it's just, as you guys may have heard us queuing up, it's just one or two instruments in me, or you know, we've done shows where it's just been the, the, these two guys doing things. So we try to make it a mixture uh, of, of both the word and the music you know, itself um, from, from several traditions. <laughs> The voice began singing. 
was when the fist opened. Was when space fell between hammer and anvil. Was when something lifted our hands to our faces. Was when the scales fell and we named them. Was a querulous light then aching our eyes? Was verb exacting the length of our ear? Was our feet religioning their way through intestine towards some fearful Damascus? Where messiahs danced atop smoldering textbooks and oracles spoke of a fire to come. Like an embryo prophecy nascent yet lumbering its way toward insurrection. But there was no word yet for insurrection. No word for a breathless at last. No word that incanted that killers be fearful as Christ in a church built by slave owning men. No book would teach us a barren constitution or decipher the phonics of bulleted speech. No blueprint would show how to build a new brick that would stitch a new tower from us to the voice. All we knew was we needed a tower, a stitching of brick, back into the voice. of tear gas and napalm, of monks simulating into huts of saffron straw, of red fear quaking the grassy knoll, the bullet, balcony, Audubon, and Allah. It was our cities become crucibles of ash. It was hurricanes of cock ripping rights women open. It was the hour of knife and wound razor, the hour of hope impaled through its rip. How did we come to this high place of lonely? What solitary road did we travel to this stone? What are the names of the scars of our anger? What do you call this ineffable moan? fire would be captured, displayed, and stuffed in museums so posterity could see what once ruled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the doubts found us again, kept on finding us, no matter how our tribe urged onward. They hunted us like madnesses, slow and hereditary, deliberate and bitter alchemy that spoke the monster's back. What is the poem of a splendor? 
entering anything. What is the proof of a backwards tear? Or is there a color for a hijack alphabet? Why does hope name her immigrant blue? Romance of nightness Is there a flower Named future forgive us What is the smell Of a doubting hand How do you say Thirty pieces of silver How do you say My country is torn Here is the woman weeping for a child. 